wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? When I bought a ass tomorrow, y'all thought it was winning? What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna go over how you can make millions of stubs with the upcoming roster update. And if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. If you see an MVP in the comment section, make sure that you like their comment. Shout out to the MVPs. Let's get into today's stub method, who you should be investing in in today's banger. AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off. Plus, if you use cold fat, another 5% and finish collection. Team Affinity Season 3. It's getting ready to drop 7-12. So that's in the next seven to eight days that will be released around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So it might change some of the cars that should have got upgraded on this upcoming roster program. Let's look into my inventory at what cards you should be investing in. So the first card that everyone already knows about is Joe Musgrove. You can get them right now for 3,000 stubs or you can use my method that I put a couple videos ago and get them for about 25 to 2,600. That's gonna give you a 2,000 gap in between the 5,000 quick sale if he goes diamond. I got 26 of them. So that's enough for me to make 80 to 100,000 stubs very, very easy just by investing into this Joe Musgrove. So his stats is looking like 89 innings pitch, 106 strikeouts with a 2.63 earn run average now his past game on june 30th he gave up five earned runs so that might change if he gets the plus one or not he's very very cheap right now in the next three days you will see all these goals start to inflate up to 3800 4,000 and 4,200, kind of like Ozzy Albus. That'd be the sweet spot for most of these golds. Now, if you listened to me a couple videos ago, you should have been buying all the 76s already. I think I have about 345 to 350 of them. So when the golds start to go up in the next 48 hours, you can take advantage of it by using the exchanges and making a lot of stubs his last game on june 30th he gave up five earned runs even though he has 106 strikeouts with a 2.63 era that game might have hurt him but it's still a chance that he goes diamond so you should invest in these about 15 to 20 at a time you don't have to go all out with 60 or 70 of them because then you're going to be stuck with a lot of players that might not go up until the next roster update the 78 ryan mcmahon with inside edge he's playing up to an 83 overall now that means that he has a good chance at getting the plus one plus two that he needs because he has good matchups coming up in the future i have 16 of these you can get them for 301 to 302 stubs or if you want to wait after the roster update you can put in some orders for 245 to 250 right now he's playing up to an 83 overall betting the 257 with 16 home runs and 45 rbis he's had in the past three games at least one hit in each game so he's showing consistency if he can keep doing this for the next 48 hours he has a chance at getting that plus two all he needs is half of the stats that he's showing on his inside edge in order to get the bump he's already proved himself enough throughout the year it won't take anything for him to get the plus one so this richard rodriguez is another good investment 2.51 era 32 innings pitch with 27 strikeouts so he don't have as many innings pitch because he's a closing pitcher so they do 1.2 to 1.5 maybe two innings at the most but Half his stats will go up. He's playing inside edge up to an 83. That's a plus five. All he needs is a plus two. 84 overall, Freddie Peralta. Inside edge up to an 88 overall. All he needs is plus one out of the plus four stats that they're giving him. He has the matchup. You can see he's at 46, 69. Real close to the 5,000 quick sale already. I got 21 of them active in my lineup and then i have another 20 that's waiting for the buy orders to go through with the method that i showed y'all so through this roster update 492,891 stubs is what i currently have i should be sitting around 850 900,000 stubs i don't go out and get 80 to 100 of a player i will spread it out between six and seven different players take 100 to 150,000 profit off of each one of them and that's the fastest way for me to get stubs 
Freddy Peralta has a 2.23 ERA, 93 innings pitch with 129 strikeouts. He's playing up to an 88 inside edge, so he has great matchups to get that automatic plus one unless they include him into the all-star program that is coming up. Ozzy Albis playing up to an 86 overall. All he needs is a plus one. You can see his buy now is at 4906, very, very close to the 5,000 quick sale right now. He's been playing up and down. He went five for six with seven RBIs on June 30th. Since then, he's been averaging only one hit per game. He's betting a 255 with 15 home runs, but he's been consistent. He's been helping the Braves out. Acuna is kind of taking all the recognition. He's been defensive side, offensive side, but Ozzy deserves the plus one. The only way that he won't get the plus one on this roster update is if he's included into another program like the new team affinities now we have silvers we have golds i'm gonna bring that into another video who you should be investing in with that but if you enjoyed it drop a like on the video start investing you can walk away with 400 to 800,000 stubs up to a million very very fast drop a like on the video if y'all rocking with me i got y'all